good morning in this class we will study how to write or how to construct the hamiltonian operator of poly electron atoms or multi electron atoms or many electron atoms or molecules once you write the hamiltonian operator by using the cardinal wave equation let's call psi is equal to e psi we can obtain the energies energy levels and also the wave functions the wave functions obtained by solving the cardinal wave equation are called nothing but atomic orbitals for molecule the wave functions obtained by solving the cardinal wave equation are called molecular orbitals so we have we are able to obtain the energies energy levels and also the atomic orbitals molecular orbitals uh, so this is very very important even programs are uh, there to construct for multi electron atom for example for methane benzene molecules etc you can instead of um, hand hand written you can also write a program to construct the hamiltonian operator okay so now let us see before we see poly electron atoms or many electron atoms let us first see hydrogen atom this is the simplified um, so from this the others are constructed so this is very important for hydrogen atom the hamiltonian operator is the sum of kinetic energy operator and the potential energy operator for the one dimensional box the potential energy operator we have already studied this uh, we have um, we have constructed the hamiltonian operator for one dimensional box please watch that uh, also minus h cross square divided by 2m b square by b x square okay for one dimensional box particle in one dimensional box for particle in three dimensional box minus h cross square divided by 2m rho square by rho x square this is nothing but uh, this is called a laplacian operator del square in this is in terms of si unit it is simplified in terms of uh, atomic units in terms of atomic units therefore this is uh, you see this is considered as one okay therefore one by two del square in atomic unit the potential now let us consider the potential energy operator potential energy expression the classical potential energy expression is q1 q2 divided by charge on um, fixed charge on nucleus charge on electron divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 or the distance between the nucleus and the electron is r therefore the potential energy operator is written as ze okay this is the hydrogen atom the charge on the charge on the charge on the nucleus is ze for example here one e plus this is the charge e plus whereas the charge on the electron is negative therefore minus e minus z square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught or and in terms of in, in si units in terms of uh, atomic units this is expressed as minus z by r that is z equal to 1 for hydrogen atom therefore the hamiltonian operator is now constructed or now derived Minus one by two del square minus one by r in atomic unit. Similarly, for helium atom, for helium atom, the nuclear charge is that the atomic number is uh, is that equal to two. Therefore, the charge on the nucleus is is that e. There are two electrons present in helium atom. It can be it can be drawn like a can be represented in the form of triangle. Okay, this is is that e. There are two electrons. The distance between the nucleus and the electron one is r one. The distance between the nucleus and the electron two is r two. The, the, the distance between the two the electrons e one and e two is r one two. Okay. So now we can construct. We can write the Hamiltonian operator for helium atom by considering there are two electrons, two electronic Hamiltonian. Therefore, for electron one. This is the the first term for electron one. This is the the first term is the kinetic energy term and the second energy term is the potential energy term for electron one. And this is the for electron two. The third term is the kinetic energy term and the fourth term is the potential energy term. 
2 by r because this is z equal to 2 and there is an additional term in addition to this term there is an additional term called 1 by r12 that is e is e into e into e e into e minus e minus e e square divided by 4 by epsilon r12 therefore r plus r 1 by r12 this last term is called interelectronic repulsion term. This last term is interelectronic repulsion term. Okay. Now let us see lithium atom. For lithium atom, Z equal to 3. The atomic number is 3. Therefore, the electronic configuration is 1 plus 2, 2 is 1. It can be drawn in the form of square because there are 4. There are 4 here, there are 3. 1 nucleus and 2 electrons here. 1 uh, nucleus and 3 electron E1, E2, E3. Therefore, the distance between the nucleus and electron is R1. Similarly, the distance between nucleus and the electron field is R3. There are 3 interelectronic inter distances. There are 3 interelectronic distances. Okay, now let us write using this diagram. Let us construct the Hamiltonian operator. Let us write the Hamiltonian operator H cap equal to the first term is the kinetic energy term for electron 1, second term for electron 2, and third term is the kinetic energy term for electron 3. Okay, similarly, minus uh, 3 or 1. Okay, here 3 is that or is that is 3 is that or 2 is that or 2 and is that or 3 plus. There are three interelectronic repulsion terms. This is E1, E2, 1 by R1, R2 plus 1 by R1, R3, R13 and R23, 1 by R23. Therefore, in addition to this, in addition to the electronic Hamiltonian, Hamiltonian there are three interelectronic repulsion terms. For example, they may ask how many interelectronic repulsion terms in lithium atom. Okay, now let us construct, let us write for hydrogen molecule the Hamiltonian operator. How it is written? Okay, hydrogen molecule HA, there are two hydrogen atoms, HA, they are labeled as HA and HB. The distance between the two hydrogen atoms is RAV. Okay, there are two electrons, therefore four, it is in the form of square. Now the distance between the nucleus A and E1 is R A1 and the distance between the nucleus A and E2 is R A2, R A2, okay, here, R A2. Similarly, the distance between the nucleus B and the electron 1 is R B1, okay. Using this diagram, the Hamiltonian operator is easily written now. H cap equal to for there are two electrons. Therefore, for electron one, this is the, the first term is the kinetic energy term. The second term is also kinetic energy term for electron two and R A one. R A one is the potential energy term for electron one with respect to A. And similarly, with R A two. This is the potential energy term with respect to A and the electron 2 and similarly Rb1 minus Rb1 minus Rb2 and in addition, in addition there are two interelectronic two there are two terms the first the first term R12 is the interelectronic repulsion term similar to helium atom lithium atom Further, there is additional term 1 by RAB, 1 by RAB called internuclear repulsion term. This is called an internuclear repulsion term. Okay. By knowing this, by writing the Hamiltonian operator, the, the Schrodinger wave equation can be written. The Schrodinger wave equation can be readily solved like a particle one dimensional bars, particle in three dimensional bars. From the solutions, the atomic orbitals, the wave functions are obtained. They are nothing but wave, wave, wave functions. Molecular orbitals are nothing but wave functions obtained for hydrogen molecule. 
and the energy levels so that the electronic spectrum is obtained. The electronic spectrum is theoretically obtained. Thank you for watching.